I'm Rebecca Rosenblum, and I'm going to be reading the beginning of the story, Cheese Eaters, um, which is one of the stories in my collection, The Big Dream. 9.12 a.m., Tuesday. Ray was slouched so far forward her breasts swayed on the desk. The optical mouse had fallen and disappeared, so she was using the trackball one. On the desk, one apple cut into eighth. One Chinese New Year prosperity fish. Thirty-four overstuffed folders abandoned when Amelia went on disability. A notepad, a Kleenex box, water glass, and a small limp fern. Under the desk, a silver cell phone and charger, waste paper basket, three pairs of dark pumps, and an optical mouse. Somewhere. It was the first day of the second month of her trial separation, which Ray was marking by wearing her wedding ring on a chain behind her blouse. Ray! Hamid stood in the opening between the gray baffle cloth walls. His gray golf shirt hung free from his shoulders to his belt. Only his elbows and knees bulged. Hamid was all joints. Ray! Yes, Hamid. She did not lift her chest or turn or cease scrolling down. Ursula hired someone. The trackball stuck. Ray was going to have to move the desk. And not admin, a junior designer for real. Amazing. She clicked save twice, then finally turned. She could feel the necklace shift. When do we get it? Hamid raised his left elbow above his head, pushing it down with his right hand to stretch his triceps. Her. Today. Now. Today? I don't have time for a welcome lunch. Ursula should have warned us. Ursula's off sight today. He shook his arms out. Remember? No. So? This person is here? Sitting in HR, waiting for her tour. And you're gonna? The hell I am. Hear the marketing feedback on the new feature template? Looks like it's been mauled by sharks. Hamid bug-eyed her. He was older than she was, but he lived with his parents, played indoor soccer, drove an expensive, ugly car. He worked 70 hours a week on salary. Hey, they don't like my column design either. Rayanne Sharks, the branding division will have my ass. Fine, said Ray, the way she would give up and let Marley and Jake have cookies. She stood and tucked her skirt down. The waistband was high and thick, digging in. You gonna introduce me? Hamid was already three steps towards his cube. I didn't see her. HR just called. Look for the scared one. Ray thought about yelling, We're all scared, Hamid. But she didn't. The girl wore a white eyelet blouse with ruffled cap sleeves, her left bra strap visible, pink. The girl nodded as Ray approached. The nod turned her messy bun into a ponytail. Ray stuck out her hand and said, Junior design? She got a beam in response. Hello, hi, I'm Andrea Goss. Andy, I'm so glad to meet you, glad to be getting started here. Hi. At her feet was a blue rain jacket, a Burberry lunch sack, a black leather shoulder bag the size of a Labrador retriever. I'm one of the senior designers, Ran. Andy had scooped everything from the floor and arranged it in her arms before Ray added, Ray. They saw the coffee room, the ladies' room, the copier, and the fax machine. No one will fax you. It's 2011. The big boardroom, the little boardroom, the Diefenbachia that hadn't died. Then, the design room. Four bus shelter-sized file cabinets, twenty desks, a hibiscus with a huge powdery red stamen. And this is my desk. Ray looked at her Cosmo screensaver, her browning apple. Her pictures of her kids were in her purse. Anyone could have sat at this desk. This desk was all she wanted. Where do I sit? Ray only knew all cubes on the window row were occupied. Hers, Hamid's, Amelia, who had bone cancer, weird silent Malik, Andrew, who sometimes whistled. There were empty cubes in the dark inner rows.